basically you know why I got polio was probably due to my parents oversight because uh, they were maybe on they were traveling and all that so they didn't have time to actually uh, vaccinate me and all that against polio and uh, even even in Malaysia when you say eradicator uh, You'd be surprised that I've met a few, you know, somebody who's 25 years old, a Malaysian citizen who has polio. And I met him when we were traveling on a pilgrimage. He was on crutches, you know, he was the same, he had the same affliction on both legs. Mm. And he was only 25 when I uh, asked him what happened. And he said, it was an oversight by his parents mm -hmm. and his parents are Malaysia and this was in the year 2005 mm -hmm. and he was only 25. Mm -hmm. That shows that you know uh, you have to inform sometimes you have to tell them sometimes you if you think that immunization is like uh, common sense like most of the time when they have a baby it says okay the first thing you must do you must immunize against this disease that disease and all that we must have some form of communication to these people to tell them to get immunized you know the, the, the children against all the diseases that can be immunized even like things like not even polio like smallpox chickenpox uh, uh, cervical cancer and so on. Would you like your children to be like I am now? You know, when I was in, when I was in the teens, I can walk, right? In my twenties, I use a walking stick. In my thirties, I have to use one crutch. In my forties, I've used both crutches. And finally, when I'm in the 50s, on a wheelchair. So would you like this to happen to your children? Fortunately for my parents, that I, I become independent, you know, that I, I can find work and you know, feed my family and so on, and be independent of my parents. But if you have somebody who is not that you know, strong enough that may, they might be dependent on the parents for life which is I think it's a very sad situation for the children and also for the parents.